quite frankly, I am having a lot of fun. I have been making beer in the industry since 1978. I'm 60 years old. I'm truly convinced the best years of my career are ahead of me. I'm blessed with the best team I could ever possibly have. We've got a great talent pool in terms of administration and sales, and get out of our way. I started my career at G. Heilman in La Crosse in 1978, working as a, a laboratory technician. And during this time, Heilman was expanding quite a bit and buying little breweries in different locales, and they purchased a small brewery in Central Florida, and they said, hey, how'd you like to go set up the quality assurance department now and at Duncan in Central Florida? I'm thinking, Gulf Coast, I'm going, yeah, yeah! And the, the brewery was a complete disaster. A good way to learn something is fix it, and that brewery was broke from A to Z. And as I started delving into it and finding out why things weren't working and what it took, I really got into it, I really enjoyed it. I realized that I really wanted to learn more about the process of making beer that I really wanted to, as time go on, become what is known as a brewmaster. I'm not necessarily a beer geek. You know, that's worrying about beer styles. I'm a brewery geek. I love the, the process. I love all the history behind it. You know, beginning Wisconsin brewery had a lot of inherent challenges to it. And one of the biggest ones was people's perception. Because a lot of the breweries that have began in a craft brewing thing started out basically in a garage. And that seemed to, among a craft beer drinker, give a little credibility. Look, you got some mad scientists hidden away in some dingy little quarters coming up with all these phenomenal um, formulas. We decided we believe in the industry, we believe in ourselves, and we believe that craft is going to keep growing. So we decided we would build for success. A lot of it was, how far do we think we can take the volume? We would love to be able to hit a quarter million barrels someday, okay? What is the best way to initially put to this place together to achieve that goal? I mean, what are the certain fundamentals that this brewery has to exhibit where without too much difficulty, deconstruction, huge unwanted cost, can get us to that ultimate goal? And our equipment at a peak demand could put beer out at the rate of 35 to 40,000 barrels a year. We're moving grain, we're moving water, we're pumping wort, we're pumping out spent grain, we are pumping beer, we're pumping, you know, uh, cleaning solution. Quite frankly, making beer is all about moving liquid. So I started going to um, nothing but first damn pumps in our previous brewery, and they all delivered the goods. You know, they were all, I could put the pump in place and I didn't have to worry anymore. It was gonna do the job it was intended to, and when I did have any problems, the service was superb. You know, since my first experience was so positive, of course I was gonna continue on with it. The gang of us started putting together this brewery, um, there was never any question of the pump supplier was going to be. In my experience with pumps, I have found first stand to be the most reliable. You know, a minimum of messing around with the seal changing, for example, and the process of changing the seals is very straightforward and simple. I've never had an electrical problem with who they've chosen for the motors. Again, it's just overall a very durable, tough as nails, solid unit. And look, that's what I want. I don't want anything fancy. I'm not worried about <laughs> any weird options. What I want is something that I put in place and I never think about it again. I think the better a piece of equipment is, the less it's on your mind. You know you can count on it, you know it's gonna deliver the goods and it's gonna be there for a long time. And for me, First Ham has delivered on all of us. You know, from a practical standpoint as a brewer, like I mentioned, I want a piece of equipment that I know is gonna do the job that once it's in place, I kinda of forget about it. And that's what I'd encourage anyone who is building a, a brewery to do. You're gonna invest a lot of money in the infrastructure of a brewery and there's a lot of moving parts and a lot of expense and the people who are really going to do well in brewing are the ones that figure out how to do this most efficiently. So you want to have a piece of equipment that's going to be efficient as possible, that's not going to break down, that's reasonably priced, that's very high quality and going to give you years and years and years of service. And that's why I become sold on First Stand because it's always de delivered on all its accounts and never let me down. And I'm not making that up. <laughs>